This next step is your is your basic functions. These will be the uh, the system settings and and your fan settings. We'll start with the system settings. So you would go to the system block on the touch screen and press your desired function. So you would touch it once, and what will happen is where it is at this moment, where your present setting will start to flash. So in this case, we're off. If I touch it one more time, it'll rotate down, and you'll see cold flashing. So if I if I uh, want my air conditioning to be set, I would hit done at this moment. Push it one more time, and it brings me up to heat. So if you keep touching the screen, it just rotates through your choices. So at this point, I want heat, and I want to set my heat up at a certain temperature. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the heat selection, and remember, the bottom left-hand corner, hit done before it stops flashing. If it stops flashing, don't panic. You can touch it again, and it'll start to flash again, and then hit done, and that'll set it. So right now, the system is set for heat, and it's set to 62 degrees, and we can adjust that. We'll, we'll go over that in the next step. So I'm like what we talked about. Um, if you went to the system switch again right now and you wanted cooling um, instead of heating, we would touch the button, heating would be flashing, we would walk through just by touching it again, we would go to off, and then touch it one more time, and we would see cool flashing. While cool is flashing, we would hit the thumb button, and that would lock us into cooling. Or, or what it says in the system block, is what mode you're in. So right now we're in the cooling mode and, our, and we're set to 85 degrees Fahrenheit. Now that we're in the, uh, the cooling mode and, and it can be confirmed by looking at the system square and you see cool in the window, we're set to 82 but it's actually 78 in, in the house and we would like it to be cooler. So what we're gonna do is for now, I'm just gonna arrow the temperature down. And as I move the temperature down, you'll notice that it says hold temperature until 6 p.m. So this is just a temporary, um, temporary override to the current temperature. And we'll show you how to set it permanently here in the next step. And then after um, setting it permanently, we can run also a program schedule. But for now, we're just going to lower the temperature um, just to bring it on. And what you'll see is as I drop below the room temperature from 70, 78 and I have it set to 75, um, you'll notice a little indicator that says wait come up in the screen. What the thermostat's going to do is run a uh, timing sequence to make sure that it's safe to start your air conditioner. And under, at the end of that wait period, the uh, unit will turn on and it'll say cool on in the display. As you, as you can see right now, as you can tell, the, uh, the wait light stopped flashing and the cool on has come up in the display. At this moment, the, the air conditioning is actually functioning, so we're, our outdoor unit will be running and our indoor fan will be operating with low the air through the ductwork. Again, this is just a temporary setting. As you can see down on the bottom left, it says hold temperature until 6 p.m. If we want to set a permanent temperature, what I would do is come up and press this hold square, which is the second one in from the left-hand side, one time. And you'll see that it says permanent hold. It changed from hold temperature until 6 p.m. to permanent hold. And what that means is it will keep this temperature indefinitely. It'll hold 74 degrees, 24 hours a day, 365 days a week. And there's one more facet to the hold function uh, before we get into programming, and I want to show you that. That would be vacation hold. If you come up, the next rotation through the hold cycle would be to press the hold button one more time. Again, it's the second square in from the left. We touch it one more time. It says hold temperature until, and it gives you date. 
So this would be a vacation hold setting. What you could do is mm -hmm. you could actually arrow up the um, the days. to whatever level that you wanted. So if you were going away for a week, you would set this to seven days, and then you would lower your temperature, or in this case, raise your temperature because it's the air conditioning cycle, to 85 degrees. And what it would do is it would hold that temperature at 85 degrees for seven days. After the seventh day expired, it would start running your program, which I'll show you next how to set up your program times and temperatures. So when you came home, the house would be operating and cool. But you didn't waste energy while you were away on the day. The Honeywell IAQ comes with a uh, fan operation also. Like with uh, conventional thermostats, you can run the indoor fan in a in an automatic uh, position, which means that the indoor fan will start with the uh, with the heat or it'll start with the air conditioning. Um, if you uh, choose to uh, run the fan in a continuous operation, uh, touch the fan button or touch the fan square until you see what choice you want, which would be on, and hit the done button down in the, the bottom left hand corner. The fan will run continuously uh, for 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Uh, you would, you would um, choose this if you, if you had a train clean air effects or, or uh, a high-end filter and you wanted to clean the air continuously. Um, if you don't like the fan running all the time, there is an additional choice uh, built into the Honeywell IAQ, which is called CERC. Uh, so you have a choice between on and auto and CERC. If you choose to select CERC and we'll hit the done button here, uh, the fan it's the best of both worlds. It won't run in the automatic position, but it won't run all the time. It'll run about 35% of the time. It'll run um, intervals in between auto and on about 35% of the time, which gives you uh, additional air movement for air cleaning, but doesn't run your fan 24 hours a day, seven days a week. For plumbing, heating, and air conditioning.